welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today we have a amazing two recipes that you can make in your air fryer. Now I have the power of an elite, so that is the oven style of air fryer. Mine also does come with a basket, so you really could make these recipes in whatever type of air fryer that you have. If you are interested in my particular air fryer, I get a lot of questions about that. It is linked down below in my Amazon store, so definitely check it out. But we are making two absolutely, absolutely delicious recipes in our air fryer. It is like fried, greasy diner food, but it is WW friendly. So if you wanna see what two recipes I have in store for you, just stay tuned. For tonight's air fryer dinner, I'm gonna be making ranch, chicken, and we're also gonna air fry some delicata squash. So first let me show you what is in our chicken. You'll need some chicken breasts. I'm gonna go ahead and cut mine lengthwise so that they are thinner. It just helps them cook a little bit faster in the air fryer. You'll also need some fat-free ranch, breadcrumbs, and some salt and pepper. And then for my delicata squash, this is what it looks like. It is delicious. It is a fall vegetable or fruit. I'm not sure which one that it is, so let me know in the comments if you know. But what you do is just cut this in half, clean it out like you would a pumpkin, remove the seeds, and then slice it into half moon shapes. Season it, throw it in the air fryer, it's delicious. So I'm gonna be seasoning it, seasoning it with some of the Dax Green Zest. This is all natural, no salt, no MSG seasoning. The green zest is delicious on vegetables. It's my favorite thing ever to put on vegetables. And what is in the green zest is spices, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic, and lemon peel, that's it. So as natural as it can get, and again, no salt. So great for those of you watching your salt or before weigh-in. So this is going to go on my delicata squash. If you're interested in Dax, I do have a 10% off discount code. It is here on the screen and it is linked down in the description box below and it will also get you free shipping. So check out their website. They have over 20 seasonings and I have every one and I love them. So I'll be putting some of the green zest on my squash. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So for our delicata squash, all we are going to do is chop the ends off and then we are going to chop it long ways. So this is what it looks like. It does resemble what you would see if you were to break into a pumpkin. So it's delicious. I mean, absolutely delicious. So then I like to go ahead and just slice it long ways. It isn't too terribly hard to cut. Um, and the great part is you don't have to peel delicata squash. So once you cut it open, you can see the seeds in there. All we're going to do is just take a spoon and remove the seeds. And then we'll be ready to slice it into half moons and get it ready to go into the air fryer. So it's very easy. The messiest part is just simply removing the seeds out of the delicata squash. And then I'm also going to be cutting my chicken as well. So let's get everything chopped up so we can get it seasoned and into the air fryer. I swear that something in the air so vibrant Now I'm just pointing out the fact hey, I want you to tell me how you feel hey, you keep looking at me. So next for our chicken, I have a quarter of a cup of my fat-free ranch here on a plate And I also have a third cup of my garlic breadcrumbs And then my chicken and a plate to put our coated chicken on. So it's super easy. We're going to take a breast of chicken. We're going to dip it here into the ranch dressing. Go ahead and just coat it. It doesn't have to be really thick, just enough to kind of coat both sides of your chicken breast in the ranch. And then it's gonna go here into the breadcrumbs. And that's going to give it that fried chicken flavor with that coating of ranch in between the breadcrumbs and the breast of chicken. We're going to set it on a plate here. And that's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and get all the rest of my chicken coated in the ranch and rolled into the breadcrumbs. And then we'll be ready to get it prepared for the air fryer. And also we need to season our delicata squash and get it ready to go into the air fryer. So I went ahead and sprayed my air fryer racks with some non-stick cooking spray. 
I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my chicken. I ended up doing four of the thin breasts, so basically two whole breasts of chicken. The other two I am just gonna put back in the freezer. There's just two of us, so this will be enough for tonight, plus give us some leftovers. So I didn't want to make too much chicken, so we'll save that for another night. So go ahead and get your chicken onto your first rack of your air fryer or put it in your basket, depending on the style of air fryer that you have. Our second rack is where we're gonna put our delicata squash. So we wanna make sure that we are putting it into a single layer. And I'm sorry if you can hear my washer in the background, it's spinning and it's loud. But we're gonna put this here on a single layer. And I do have another rack. I'll probably end up having to use it to fit all of the delicata squash. Just try not to overlap it. It'll end up cooking a little bit better and being a little more crispy if you don't overlap it. So we'll get this on here and then we'll get ready to season it. And we'll be ready to get everything into the air fryer. Once you get your delicata squash ready to go in the air fryer, I'm going to spray it really quickly with a thin coat of the nonstick cooking spray, and that's just going to help my Dax stick to it. So go ahead and sprinkle on your Dax green zest. I'm telling you, you guys, this is the best seasoning, hands down, for any type of vegetable. I love it so much. You don't even need salt. It is so good, it is so full of flavor. So we added our Dax to our two sheets of delicata squash. And then lastly, I am just going to spray my chicken really gently with a little bit of the nonstick cooking spray too. That's just gonna help it brown up a little bit easier in the air fryer. So let's get everything put into the air fryer. I'll show you our cooking time and then we can have some dinner. All right, dinner's in the air fryer. I have my chicken on the bottom. Never put your raw meat above any other type of food that you're cooking in your air fryer if you do have the oven style. And then I have my two racks of delicata squash. Throughout the cooking process, I will definitely be rotating these racks, but I am going to start with my chicken on the bottom. Oh, I just wiped this off. All right, let's turn this on. I cook everything at 400. I don't know why. I just do. And I'm gonna put this on 20 minutes, and that way I can rotate the racks as it cooks. My air fryer does have a light, so I can see exactly what's happening in there as everything is starting to cook. So I will be back when our dinner is out of the air fryer. So our chicken is out of the air fryer. Look at how delicious this looks. Nice and crispy. And then one of my racks of delicata is out of the air fryer. The other one you can hear is still in there. I wanted to get it a little bit more crispy. To the top of it, I added just a little bit of this Parmesan cheese. It just gives that nice, yummy, cheesy taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate up our dinner and I'll be back to give you the smart points. You guys, this is about the lowest point dinner you could possibly have. Alrighty guys, here's dinner. So I have one breast of chicken with the ranch and the breadcrumbs is only one smart point. I did top it with one smart point worth of the French's honey mustard. I love this on chicken. So I did add a little bit of that. So that is an additional point. And then my delicata squash, of course, is zero points. And I add one point for the Parmesan. So you guys, this is a three smart point dinner. I am so excited about this. So if you're looking for a low point, delicious hearty meal, this is definitely a must make. For tonight's air fryer dinner, we're making crispy air fried chicken sandwiches with slaw. So we have quite a few ingredients because we're making chicken sandwiches, a coleslaw, and we're also making a sauce that goes on our chicken sandwich. So let me show you everything that is in tonight's dinner. You're going to need some nonstick cooking spray, apple cider vinegar, yellow mustard, some sort of sugar alternative of your choice, flour, Dijon mustard, barbecue sauce, I'm gonna be using the G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, baking powder, some sort of hamburger bun, shredded cabbage or coleslaw, a fresh lime, sugar-free honey, I'm gonna be using the Nature's hollow honey substitute from Nettrition. You guys know I love Nettrition. They have hundreds of WW products. This is one of the things that I absolutely cannot live without for baking, really for pretty much anything that calls for honey. You can have a tablespoon of this for one smart point, which is about an eighth of what regular honey is, and it tastes pretty comparable. There is a link for Nettrition down in the description box, so check it out. Go do a little shopping on their website. They literally have a ton of WW friendly items and make sure you add this honey substitute to your cart 
for sure, for sure. And then you'll need some panko breadcrumbs, salt and pepper, light mayo, reduced fat buttermilk, and quite a few spices, ginger, garlic powder, oregano, thyme, and paprika. So let's get started on tonight's air fryer dinner. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and take your chicken breasts, place them in a Ziploc bag. To that bag, we're going to add one half of a cup of the reduced fat buttermilk. And we want to let our chicken breasts marinate in this buttermilk for a minimum of a half of an hour. The longer, the better. So if you have the option of leaving them overnight, that's even a better option. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them covered in the buttermilk. And we're just gonna put this in the fridge for a minimum of one half of an hour. And that's while our chicken is marinating, we're gonna put together our breadcrumb mixture, which is what's going to give it that crispy fried chicken. So I have three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. You do wanna make sure that you're putting everything into a fairly shallow dish so that you can dredge your chicken through. We have one half of a cup of all-purpose flour, and we're just gonna mix that in here with our breadcrumbs. And this is actually what that buttermilk soaked chicken is going to go into. It should be really, really good. And then we need one quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. So there's that. And then lastly, our spices. So we have garlic powder. And again, go ahead and do to your liking as far as the amount of spices. We also have some ground ginger. This one's brand new, so it's a little slow coming out. There we go. Some ginger, and then we also have some thyme and some oregano. And then lastly, we're gonna put in paprika. Go ahead and add everything into your mixture here and then give it a good stir, get everything nice and combined. And then we'll be ready to pull our chicken out and put it here into our breadcrumb mixture. So once your chicken has marinated in the buttermilk, it looks delicious. I have my pan of breadcrumbs and the rack for my air fryer. So you would want your basket if you have the basket style. You're going to need some tongs. Go ahead and pull out your chicken breast out of your buttermilk marinade. And we are going to put it into our breadcrumbs. We just wanna make sure it gets nice and coated evenly in the breadcrumb mixture. And then we're going to put it directly onto our tray or into your air fryer basket, just depending on what type of air fryer that you have. Oh, it looks so good. So there's one, and then we're just going to repeat that with our other two breasts of chicken or however many you're making. Get them nice and coated in the breadcrumbs and into your air fryer. So we have our chicken in our air fryer. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on and we want it on to 375 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. My air fryer does have a light so it makes it really easy. We can kind of peek at our chicken as it's cooking. You wanna make sure it's cooked completely and you can rotate your rack up and down as well based on how it's cooking. This is the power oven air fryer elite. I have this linked in my Amazon store below if you're interested. I love my air fryer. So while our chicken's cooking, let's make our sauce and our slaw. So to make our sauce, first of all, pardon the noise from the air fryer. It's literally like right there. So you're gonna have to deal with a little noise. I apologize, but let's make the sauce for our sandwiches. So you're going to need a decent sized bowl. To that bowl, we are going to add one tablespoon of honey substitute. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that. We are also going to add two tablespoons of our G. H. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. And again, I'm going to kind of eyeball that. It will be zero points regardless of the barbecue sauce. And then we are going to add one third cup of light mayo. So we'll get that added. And then we have two teaspoons or one small freshly squeezed lime. We're also going to add some Dijon mustard and we want a total of one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And lastly, we have yellow mustard and we want two teaspoons of yellow mustard. And then we're going to give this a stir and this is going to be the sauce that is going to go on our chicken sandwiches. And we're also going to be using our sauce 
as part of our slaw. So the next thing that we're going to do is get our coleslaw mixture put together as that's what's gonna go on top of our chicken sandwiches. But you guys, this looks and smells pretty darn good. Next we need to make our coleslaw to top our chicken burgers with. So I have two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to add that to about three cups of the shredded coleslaw. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of sugar or sugar alternative, a little bit of salt, approximately about a quarter of a teaspoon. And then I'm also going to add that same amount of pepper or again, just to taste however much you like in your coleslaw. And then we wanna add about a quarter of a cup of the chicken sauce that's going to actually go on our chicken sandwiches. So we wanna add about a quarter of a cup here to our coleslaw. And then we're going to mix that all together. And this is the slaw that is going to top our chicken sandwiches. Oh my gosh, this sounds so good. This smells really good, that sauce. It has that tangy, but yet sweet uh, from the honey, but also the tanginess of the mustard. So it should be really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw our coleslaw and our sauce into the fridge while our chicken finishes cooking. It is just about done. So our chicken's out of the air fryer. It looks so good. It makes eight servings. So I'm gonna cut this big guy here probably into three because it's a huge breast of chicken and these other two in half. That way they'll fit a little bit better on our bun. So let me get the chicken cool just a little bit and we'll assemble our sandwich. So I have my hamburger bun here. I'm going to put a little bit of the chicken sauce on my bun. Again, it makes eight servings, so there is quite a bit of sauce per serving. On the other half of my bun, I'm going to take one of my pieces of my air fried chicken. And then lastly, I'm going to top it with a little bit of my slaw that I made for my sandwich. Okay, you guys, this looks pretty dang delicious. And then we'll go ahead and add our bun. And we have a crispy air fryer fried chicken sandwich with slaw, you guys. This looks amazing. So let me plate up the rest of my dinner and I'll be back to show you exactly what I'm having and to give you the smart points. So here is dinner. So I have one of my fried chicken sandwiches with the slaw and a bun. And then I have a serving of peas with a little bit of spray butter, salt, and pepper. You guys, this sandwich is three smart points for the bun and three smart points for the chicken. If you can find a lesser point bun, you can knock down the total points of this dinner, but this entire dinner, air fried, fried chicken sandwich on a bun with peas is six smart points. Thank you for joining me on another video in my WW Air Fryer series. You guys, these two recipes are so good. You absolutely have to check them out. I mean, they are amazing. So again, my air fryer is linked down in my Amazon store below. If you are new, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that little bell. That way you'll be notified every time that I upload a new video. That way you're not missing out. I upload pretty much daily, so you don't want to miss a single video. Thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of these two air fryer recipes and if you're going to give them a try. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.